Hey guys, what's up? Jesse here again. Um, I just made a video on clicker training your bird and target training your bird. Now I'm going to show you what some of that can do for you. Um, let's say Tina is an aggressive bird. You need to get her out of the cage. So all I do is I take a treat in this hand. I have my clicker and my target in this hand. And she's target trained. You simply stick your hand inside the cage, target to your arm, and say target, 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 come on, step up, target, target, good. As you can see, sometimes they can be very stubborn. Tina, in particular, can be very stubborn, but that's just the nature of the beast. It takes a while to get over that. Tina, step up. Good girl. Now, once you have your bird out of your cage, you can keep doing... Sorry, I got a message there. You can keep doing your clicker training with the target, or you can do step up training. I like to do step up training without the stick. You can do it with, but I simply just... Tina, step up, click, give her a treat. And you want to do this all the time. Every time she steps up, every time she comes to me, every time I put her back in her cage and she doesn't struggle, every single time they do what you ask, click, give them a treat. Sometimes you don't even have to click, just reward them with a treat or affection. Tina loves affection versus treats. But just keep doing this repeatedly once you get them out of the cage or even inside the cage. Step up. Good girl. Good girl. Now, we're going to keep doing this. We'll do it one more time to show you how you want to do it. See, she's losing interest. you got to keep her interest. Tina. Step up. Good girl. Tina. Step up. Good girl. Now we're going to bring the stick back in. And you can use this for fun, exciting tricks. And I'll just show you one that me and Tina have been working on for about the past week. It's the spin. I start with, the, with using the target. And then after we do it a couple times, I start to slowly move the target away until it's out of sight and then she's just following my hand and that's what we want in the end where I can just give the signal and she'll spin, I don't need the target. So here's how we started this trick. Tina, spin. Good girl. So we'll just show you that one more time. Tina, spin. Good girl. So after, after about a week of doing this, I got to be able to do it with just my hand, Tina. Spin. Good girl. Tina. Spin. Good girl. Now let me show you what to do when, you're, when your bird doesn't do the trick that you like. If you give the signal, and that you've been working on for a long time and you know that the bird knows what's going on, even if even in the beginning stages you can do this. As soon as the bird misses the trick, you want to turn your back on them. Don't make eye contact, don't make any sound, and sit there for about 50 seconds to a minute. Just sit there, ignoring them completely. And then after that minute, come back to the bird and try the trick again. And I guarantee you that the trick will work. So let's do this with Tina. I'll give her a miss so that she doesn't know what's going on. And then that what that does is when I ignore her, it forces her to sit there and think, hey, what happened? Why didn't I get a click and why didn't I get a treat? Tina, step up. Step up. Good. Step up. Good. So here we go. We're going to do the command, she's going to miss, and then I'm going to ignore her. Tina. 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 Come on. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. Good girl. So here's
here we go. Tina. Tina. See, that moment of silence made her come to me because she didn't know what was going on and it forced her to reason and she actually, in that short little pause, thought through what she did wrong and then she came to me and she is essentially showing me that she's sorry and she's loving me up because she didn't mean to do anything to make her daddy unhappy. So, Tina, step up. Good girl. Good. So we'll do the trick again. And you always want to end a training session on a positive note. So we'll get once you've done enough repetitions and you get to that final repetition and if she does it correctly, then I'm gonna reward her, good bird, scratch her head, and then put her away in its feeding time. So here we go. Good. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. And that is the beginning basics to step up training and your basic trick training. And feel free to comment and um, message me. Tell me what you want to see next or ask me any questions you might have. And thanks for watching. See you guys later.